Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Leanne Huber. I am a health and physical educator here at Cucalico High School. I am going to run you through a little bit of my Bitmoji classrooms that I kind of tried to create for um, online and in school for my students uh, and your students. Uh, as I go through things, I'm going to just start off with my phys ed classroom and run through some of the details and then I will follow that with some of my health information as well. When you're in my Bitmoji classroom, which is located for all of your students um, in Schoology, and you can get the access code to that as well, I created it as best as possible so there's a bunch of different hyperlinks available for the students and you. When you're in, one of the first things is the get to know you. So when you would click on my lovely picture with my family and my kids, uh, this screen pops up for the students as well as you. Shows a little bit. I've been teaching information on my family just so I can get to know the kids and they um, then do the same with the get to know you activity for me. A little bit about myself as I think you would like to know, but I did start teaching at Cacalico in August of 2006. I'm a graduate from Ephrata High School. I also graduated from East Stroudsburg University and uh, have my master's degree from Wilkes University. I live in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. I have um, two children, my husband and a boxer. I loved sports and still do as I teach health and phys ed. Um, I did coach and coached here for quite a few years as well for field hockey. I love a few things of being outdoors, whether that's the mountains, fishing, skiing, biking. Um, I just love being outside, so I've enjoyed that. If your student has had me for phys ed, I've really been enjoying that. I enjoy spending time with my family and friends and being in my kitchen, which can be a good and bad thing, as I'm sure a few of you know. Um, some of my contact information. Email for you is typically the best way to get in contact with me unless you have your uh, student send me a message on Schoology. That also is a great way for me to get in communication with you. Call or leave a message at the office is also another great way. They will link you right to my telephone and uh, my voicemail, and I will do my best to get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. The number there is also linked, um, and I do believe I have this contact information as well on my syllabus. Best time to call um, is 11 to 12, and I would hopefully be in my office and able to get back to you, but... It's not always able to happen as we're preparing multiple lesson, lessons um, in person and online this year. But that's simply the slide that would pop up when you, again, would click on the picture here. Um, over to this side, attendance. This is huge. If your student is in person or online, I'm requiring this form to be filled in regardless. So I want to quickly pop this open so you can see this. This is what your student sees. Huber Physical Education Attendance Form. This has not changed for my phys ed students. They need to fill in their first name, their last name. They click on what block that they are assigned to. At this time, I have a second and fourth block. Um, after that, I've kept this up there. It says, what sport or activity are you engaging in today for at least 40 minutes? If the student is in person with me, they just need to write that they are present in school. If they are doing something from home, they are to write what they are doing in detail so that it makes sense to me that they're going to go for a four-mile walk or a three-mile jog again just throwing out some simple examples but I do want it to be 40 minutes since they are not here with us in person. They then submit this form and it all goes to one place for me. Great way for me to keep track of records and logs. Um, and again that would be clicking on that clipboard. Um, over here I have some hyperlinks as well in this classroom. Um, one of the nice things is if they click on any of the sports or the dumbbells over here, it pops up to the Netflix workouts. This Netflix workout is amazing. 
I cannot take full credit for this. I've added a few things to this, but some of the Lancaster and Lebanon teachers worked really hard to create this awesome presentation. This is just a glimpse of some of the workouts that I put up for the kids. But what's really nice about the Netflix area and workouts presentation is they can click on whatever they would like to do for that day. If they want to do a cardio workout, they would click on the cardio area where a few different slides um, or options would open up. So when they click on this, which I'm not going to do because it will instantly start playing that for them. But when they click on that, it would open up and begin that workout for them right away. If it's 15 minutes, they may need to do two to three workouts. But again, it's really nice. We have some cool down stretching um, as well as, like I said, on my Schoology page, they have a few more options. Uh, the next thing that they could click on would be yoga, which I've already opened up. Same thing as the Netflix. It would open up to a few different options for them as well that they can click on for that. The last one that I have hyperlinked here in my phys ed page is the facilities. Uh, we have another teacher here who took some great pictures. Again, it just shows a few of the areas, the track that we've been using, turf fields, um, the walking path, a few of the awesome facilities we are blessed with here at Cacalico. Um, again, oops, sorry, that went to my health classroom. Again, everything is here for the students if they want it at their fingertips, but it's also an option for them in Schoology and for you as well. Over at the side here, I have a syllabus, which is the health and phys ed rules for this year. It's a little different. Again, daily attendance is needed. They are asked to change. We're not mandating a uniform this year. Um, what we have asked is they come in with school appropriate clothing that they're able to work out in. Jeans are not accessible because some of our equipment that could tear the, the pads that we have and such. So again, workout pants, shorts, sweatpants, sweatshirts, appropriate clothing and as the weather gets cooler we're going to ask that you make sure you have that as well to keep it safe we try to get outside as much as possible each student has been given a lock that they use just during class they then lock it up and take all their belongings with them on a day-to-day -day basis um, as far as excuse forms um, or if you're going to be absent, what we ask is if it's a doctor, you get a doctor's note. They can also see me, and I can give a form to them to take along to the doctor's office. Um, if they're going to miss class, what I really ask is that they let me know. If it's an absence, they can make it up. If it's something with discipline, so they're not doing something appropriate in class or filling out the form online, those points I don't allow to be made up but I do allow a student to make up a missed class. Um, that can just be on a Saturday or Sunday. Maybe they're going for um, a workout at a local recreation facility or they're going out on a hike with you, their family and their friends. Okay, so again, the option is there for them to make up all our courses I try or all their classes that they would possibly miss. I believe that is almost everything I had a few notes I was looking at um, the only other thing is grading they're getting graded on their participation in class um, as well as just being appropriate with the attendance piece it's very simplistic I'm not doing a ton of grades like we normally would with units because it's been a little more difficult to do that this year so they're really getting their participation points which makes sense for phys ed and now moving on into the health classroom. The health classroom that I have set up um, as a Bitmoji is very similar to the uh, phys ed classroom that I just discussed. Um, I have a Schoology link. I have my syllabus, which all my health parents have seen um, and guardians have seen and signed. Uh, that was part of the contract that I had them do. Same exact thing with the get to know me information. The only thing that is a little bit different in my health classroom is the sign in sheet. That changes daily, but again, both in person and online need to uh, fill out this form as well. 
I'm just quickly opening it. Um, today, the students actually had to do a checklist to show me what they turned in or what they still needed to turn in for my class. But again, that is done for in person and online. The only other thing on my syllabus just goes through the different units that we work through. The grading is just a little different with health. 80% is classwork, quizzes, um, group projects that they may do, which are going to look a little different this year, and then their final exam and their final um, project is only 20% of their grade. Still very important, but doesn't take over the entire grade. All of that together creates 100% of their grade in the class. Again, here you can see the four different um, units that we go through. And, oh, sorry. That is driver's education, safety, um, and safety, first aid and CPR, relationships, relationships and stress management. Again, you have all seen this before as they've all been signed and submitted and turned in for a small grade for your student. But same thing holds true in my phys ed classroom. If you need me for anything, email, which again I showed at the very beginning. Um, call the school and they will connect you to my, uh, my voicemail. And if needed, you can uh, also message me on Schoology. Thanks. Hope you got to enjoy learning a little about me and my classroom.